Super Super Sorrel, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! This is the new Ultimate John Carver action figure from NECA, based on the movie from Thanksgiving. This looks awesome. This figure looks amazing, and uh, I can't wait to bust this one out of the box. This recently arrived from NECA themselves. Uh, I did pay for this. It was a pre-order that I did ages ago, and it just turned up this week, so really happy to finally have this in hand and see what it's all about. Like I say, based on the Thanksgiving movie, which I thought was absolutely awesome. Can't wait to watch that again on Blu-ray when it comes out here in the UK. And uh, yeah, just a stunning looking uh, box that it's in. Just like all the Ultimate figures, but I love the fact that they've got that little flap at the front so you can see the figure on the inside as well. Very cool. And it comes with multiple accessories, some interchangeable heads. So let's jump in and take a closer look at this John Carver action figure. Here we go. Thanksgiving, it was a good movie, and uh, it has the potential to spawn some sequels. Even if it's not the same killer, the idea of the fact that they've made the John Carver, you know, uh, killer costume means that anyone could don that costume on Thanksgiving and take revenge. So it's a cool concept, and I hope it do, they do make more of it, they do, like they go further with it. Although it could just be a one-off movie, a bit like the, uh, a bit like the, um... Valentine's Day movie. Do you, remember, do you remember the Valentine's Day killer? from The film Valentine was amazing. I love that movie with Denise Richards. But I think that was Catherine Hagel's first ever movie as well, I think. Thinking about it. But yeah, I can't wait for, for Thanksgiving to come out on DVD here in the UK. A little, it's been a little while since it was in the cinema, so I'm looking forward to seeing it again now. Is this basically... Oh, the hat does come off. I remember everyone was asking, does the hat come off? The hat does come off. Yeah, I remember, I remember when... Um... Ah, I tell you what, that, is that just the Michael Myers body? It might be. So it does, it does look like it is the Michael Myers jumpsuit body that they've literally just added black gloves to it. And then put the head and the neck and things on there all black. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But that's fine because that's in keeping with what the costume was in the movie, to be honest. It's very similar, so. So in the accessories, we've got quite a bit in this one. Uh, we In the first section that I've just pulled apart, we've uh, got a gun. Like a, It's like a Luger type gun, which is quite cool. Uh, a, a old fashioned musket to match the costume design. And then we get a uh, nice hammer. Not had a hammer like that in a while. And a proper axe. So that's very cool. Okay, the secondary compartment gives us the ultimate heads, hands, and other weapons. So we get the standard kitchen style knife, which we've had before with Michael Myers. Uh, a proper flick blade style knife. That's pretty cool. I like that. My favourite one from the trailer that everyone remembers him carrying was the uh, the meat tenderizer hammer hook thing. I don't know what you'd call that, but yeah, like the, the, the kitchen appliance. We get the bloodied version of the mask. And we also get the burnt version of the mask. If you've seen the film, you'll know why. And then we get the alternate hands as well. To be able to hold all the different weapons. And that's everything on that one. So let me just pop all this back together. And we'll pop the box on the side. If you're new around here, I don't keep boxes. I'm an out of box collector. So I don't really save the boxes or anything. And for those of you that are regular viewers that are waiting for me to do it, here we go. We don't keep boxes on this channel, but we do give them a yeet. I don't think I did that in my last video. So there you go, there's a yeet. <laughs> right, let me put the scissors down and pull the backdrop in. And what we'll do is we'll head straight down to the desk cam so you guys can get an up close personal look of this John Carver action figure. Let's do this. All right, guys, here we go. And looking at this one out of the packaging, let me just move these hands to the side so I can move the weapons all out of the way so we can bring the figure in. <coughs> <coughs> so the figure itself is very nice. 
I think, like I say, I do think this is basically the Michael Myers body. It just dyed black rather than the blue. Um, but either way, that is, like I say, that is in keeping with the costume from the movie, more or less. It was basically just a, a dude in a jumpsuit. Um, so this is the basic mask we've got on, first of all. This is the standard mask. I've got the camera to get the right height level. Sorry, just bear with me. Pull the camera up. There we go. Yeah, so this is the basic mask that we're looking at first of all, uh, the standard one that comes in the box. Now, interestingly, everyone was asking, is the hat removable? Yes, the hat is removable. And then to change the face, it looks like we're just going to pull the... Oh, it has got a mask, unmasked... Oh, I like that. So I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to just this to be just a plain black mask, like ski mask. So we can pull the John Carver mask off. And there is a face under there. That is cool. All right, okay, I'm liking that. That is detail. I'm giving them a proper thumbs up now. Wasn't expecting that. And then the alternate masks, we, they, they've given us the blooded version of the mask. They just kind of stick on, which is very cool. They just kind of pop on. They don't really hold, they don't really hold too crazily. And again, we can pop the hat back on so we can have the blooded up version of the mask from with Killing Spree. Or, if you've seen the film, you'll know that at, slate, at a later point in the film, he does burn the mask on the oven. So there is the burnt variant as well. Very cool. The burnt variant is kind of what I would probably have him on as display with. But I do like that blooded up version as well. And I like this unmasked face. Very cool. Shame they've never done that with the Scream figures. I know they have. I know, it's, I know the characters are licensing. I know they struggle with the whole Scream ghost face thing. But that would be cool to have like a, a Billy Loomis face underneath one of the masks. But anyway. It's cool. It, it's very cool to have that unmasked head. Sorry to have that. Uh, to, when you were masking that you've got that face. I'm, I, can't, I can't get over that. That's really good of them. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking the blooded variant. Again, I didn't expect the the mask to come off. I expect these little faces were just going to pull off um, underneath the mask. That's what it looked like on all the tray on all the photos and things that Necker gave us. It just looked like the mask would just be the pop off part, and the the hat would just stay on. They would pop off under here or something. So it's nice that the hat does is removable because he does actually take it off at some points during the film. So that's very cool. Uh, again, we've got some hands on right now that are like trigger hands, but we have got multiple other accessory hands uh, that will hold all the different weapons. We've got different grab hands and things. Don't want to mess around with them too much right now. But like I say, the weapons will run through them once again up close on this cam. But the weapons that he comes with, we've got like an old-fashioned style pistol, which I believe is like a Luger type gun. Then we have that nice meat hooky weapon. Sort of the meat pounder tenderizer. That's the one that you remember from the trailer that he uses. He carries that around in the trailer quite a bit. Two different versions of knives. We've got the like a flick knife. And also... A kitchen knife which we've had a thousand times with Michael Myers over the years. I have to move him out of the way he's taking over the camera zoom. Then we've got a musket. That's a very nice access. That's a nice, very nice accessory to have. Not seen that before. This is a really cool axe as well. That that would obviously be useful for multiple characters as well as you know fantasy weapons and things like that. That's a very cool axe. I like that a lot. Then we've got a really cool sledgehammer as well. I don't think I've got a sledgehammer in my collection, so that's, again, a very nice accessory to get. So overall, all the accessories, three unmasked heads, all the hands, that's a great-looking fig with a ton of accessories that I weren't expecting to come with him. So I'm really happy with this figure. I think this is a great addition to the line. how he's meant to hold this musket I believe like that but yeah it's uh, it's very cool to have um you know this figure um so quick as well since the film it's not been too long since the movie came out it's nice that we've got a, a great figure like this uh, quite early on 
like I say, I got mine direct from NECA. Uh, I pre-ordered when when the pre-orders came out, and he's arrived pretty quickly. I didn't I, I didn't pay too much either to have for the shipping and stuff. Shipping was quite reasonable with NECA directly, so I would definitely do it again. I regret not getting the ghost face, you know the uh, the New York ghost face now. See how easy this was to you know, do with them. I am hopefully going to be getting another NECA figure in a few days. Uh, I do want the My Bloody Valentine, which is just hitting UK shelves. I know that's been out in America for some time now, but um, I should have one, hopefully, in hand for review uh, in the coming days. <laughs> but guys, what are your thoughts on this John Carver? Let me know in the comments below. And guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, may the Force be with you. Bye! <laughs>